What up, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Fencer Pencil, SoundCloud, SoundClicks, your boy Tone 202. And let's get into this. Okay, for one, let me make this perfectly clear. I can't show you all the video because of copyright reasons. So a lot of times I just, you know, kind of do like this. If you guys don't like it, go to somebody else's channel. I don't care. Uh, now I love my subs. Because my subs already know that you can't do this. But some people are like, show the video. I'm like, just go to somebody else's channel and watch the video. But I don't like copyright strikes. Okay, now, let me also say this. Somebody had asked me directly, uh, Tone, who do you think is going to win this year in the Super Bowl? And you know who I chose? Okay, I chose four teams. Now, I chose who I want to go to the Super Bowl. And I chose who I think is going to go to the Super Bowl. Who I want to go to the Super Bowl is the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Panthers. Who I want to win? Of course, the Pittsburgh Steelers. But if the Panthers won, I would not be mad. Steelers have six Super Bowls more than anybody else. There are three other teams that have five Super Bowls. And one of them is San Francisco. The other one is the Patriots. And the third one is the Dallas Cowboys. Okay, so Pittsburgh is still number one, so if they lose in the Super Bowl, I would not really have an issue with that. I don't watch football whole games anyway. Now, who I think is going to go to the Super Bowl, regardless of this game, the Patriots. The Patriots have done the same thing. They lost two at the beginning of the season, and, and people are like, the Patriots defense are done, yada, 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 no Vince Wilford, and yada, yada, yada. Uh, but they turned around and went to the Super Bowl anyway and lost against the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. We all know the story. Now, I'm going to say this. In these highlights, I really didn't see anything that I saw that was terribly controversial except one particular play. And uh, I think they should have gave it to the wide receiver in the end zone, but his left foot was not down. We'll get to that play. Nonetheless, from what I've seen out of the highlights, you guys can just go, you, you can just go to YouTube and watch the highlights. Uh, this is just giving you guys, not necessarily my synopsis of the game, but why I choose who I choose. Uh, one reason why I chose uh, Brady. Oh, one reason why I chose Brady to go to the Super Bowl is that was actually a controversial play that actually uh, they got in. This guy's foot actually went in. Uh, it was pretty dope the way he did it, too. But they show it in the slow motion. So there was a couple controversial plays. In it. Well, not controversial, just... And did it really happen? Uh, this play here, Ooh, boom. That, that is full control of the ball, and that is a touchdown. He has crossed the white line that goes all the way around the world. And uh, so that is clearly a touchdown, but he loses control of the ball as he is, uh, as he goes to the ground, and, and the ball ends up going out of bounds. If you go back and look at it, you see the ball gets flipped up, and it goes out of bounds, so it's not even a fumble. Uh, they uh, looked at it, and the coach was like, that is a touchdown, and I want to go ahead and, um, I think his last name was Leslie, uh, and I want to go ahead and um, review it, and they did, and it was definitely a touchdown. But that wasn't the, the play that uh, it was controversial. This is another thing that we talked about here. Josh Gordon, the weed head, <laughs> he's probably high right here. <laughs> Josh Gordon, the weed head, who is super quick, uh, really, really talented, doesn't even play this game. And I don't know why. I don't think it's... Uh, um, I don't think it's a big deal just yet, but they could have used him in this game. Now, Brady, Brady got pretty much, okay, we know Brady can throw to anyone, right? Brady will throw to, he'll just throw to anyway. So who does he have? He has his back, I think it's white. He has Gronkowski, 
and he has um, Dorset, right? So those are the his three main targets that he has. And White did score. Gronkowski did do his thing. And then you have Dorsett. Now, I think, is, is Dorsett related to, is that Tony Dorsett's son? Somebody let me know. Tony Dorsett used to play for the Dallas Cowboys. Somebody let me know. He's probably is his son. Uh, but nonetheless, and he's a burner. Uh, nonetheless, Gronkowski was double teamed. So they made sure that Gronkowski wasn't catching anything. Now, I'm not going to flip through this whole uh, highlights, but they made sure he wasn't doing anything. Uh, uh, now, this is, the, this is the play that when they reviewed it, they said it wasn't a touchdown, but it did look like a touchdown to me. But they know better than I do. Boom. And it was close. Look at this here. Like I said, you guys can watch the highlights. That's not really what I'm doing here. Look at this. Was his left foot was his left foot down? Um, I think that's where it went out. But that but it looked so close, don't it? But his left foot wasn't down when he caught that ball. Look how close that is. That is not even a freaking inch. Dang, that was a good effort. Anyways, Gronkowski got double teamed. This whole game, he did get himself some yardage, but that's the reason why the Pats lost, if you ask me. Uh, Grunk couldn't get open. Uh, they double-teamed Dorsett, too, and they watched him to the point where they just shut down Brady, pretty much. Brady is not a scrambling quarterback. He did get sacked in this game. <laughs> he had the time to throw the ball down, but the coverage was just so good. So big ups to Matthew Stafford. Uh, and his ball club for getting it done. But let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. There is such thing as a, what I call, the Tom Brady curse. Whenever you play against the Patriots, and you beat the Patriots early in the season, and we've seen this, we've seen the Chiefs beat the Patriots early in the season, and when they did, I made a prediction and said, the Chiefs will not go to the Super Bowl and they're going to lose to the Titans because if they don't, then they're going to have to see the Patriots and they already beat the Patriots uh, early in the season. Therefore, if you beat them early in the season and you are a threat to them in the playoffs, Let's just say the Lions go to the playoffs. The Lions will get, and, and they're lined up to, to play the Patriots. They're going to get beat in the first round. If the Lions, go, and you guys can, listen, you guys can watch if you want to and write this down, and I guarantee you that this is going to happen. The Lions beat them uh, this game. The Lions will be knocked out in the first round. I don't even think they're going to go to the playoffs. But if they go, they will not see the Patriots again in the playoffs. They'll see them in the regular season. The Patriots will beat them. Next time they show up, the Patriots are going to beat them. That's just that. When the playoff comes, if they, if Matt and his boys uh, make it, if they make it to the playoffs, they're going to lose to the in the first round round to whoever it is that they play, they're going to get knocked off. That's just how it is. That's how it is if you're a threat to the Patriots. And you can't say that for every team because the Patriots usually lose about maybe two games, two or three. They usually lose about two or three games. But the games that they lose early in the season, those are the two teams that you have to watch. Oh, you beat us in, in the early in the season? Okay. Let's see what happens in the playoffs. Next thing you know, if one of those teams make it to the – if any one of those teams make it to the playoffs, they will never play the Patriots again in that season. It is what it is. And when I tell you guys that the NBA is fixed uh, and the NFL is fixed, these are some of the things that I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Le what LeBron James is – not going to go to the next round of the playoffs, but nonetheless, the Pacers are not going to happen. Pacers get knocked off. <laughs> I'm just saying, those are some of the fixed 
things that you see in the game, if you watch the whole season, you're just like, oh, okay, I know this team is not going to go to the playoffs. And if they do, they're going to get knocked off in the first round by the Titans or something like that, which is what happened to uh, the Chiefs. So I'm just saying, you guys, just putting some of that stuff out there. Anyways, it was a good game. Like I said, big up to Matthew, Matthew Stafford. Looks like he has a couple promising targets to throw to. And uh, it's your boy Tone 202. You guys let me know uh, what you think. Once again, who do I think is going to uh, win the Super Bowl? That would be the Pats. Who do I hope wins the Super Bowl? That would be the Steelers. Um who do, I think, who do I want to go to the Super Bowl? That's the Steelers and North Carolina Panthers. Who do I think is going to go to the Super Bowl? That's going to be the Patriots. And I think it's actually going to be the Saints. So that would be a real barn burner, the Patriots and the Saints. But uh, we'll see. I'm out, you guys. Take it easy. God loves you.